Listen, John, I think you need to cool it down a bit on the drinks here. Yeah? Oh, come on. I'm getting a few more drinks in here. It's been ages since I've been out, and who knows when I'm going to go out again and let it all go. Okay, it's your funeral. <laughs> but it's not going to be me carrying you home tonight. What do you want? Uh, gin and tonic, please. I'll have another beer. There you go. He's had a bit too much to drink. Mm, yeah. What do you think? Yes. Plus, I don't think he ate anything before he came out. No, he said he'd come straight from work, so I don't think so. Don't you think we should try and persuade him to call it a night? Yeah, let's do that. That's it. Oh. After this drink, we're gonna call it a night. You're getting a bit drunk, it's getting late, and we've all got work in the morning. Why don't we, why don't we stay here? It's much more interesting. What do you want to go home for? Boring. Oh, come on, Jane, let's stay here, it'll be more fun. Do anything. Who are you playing at? Why do you think I'm gonna cheat on my boyfriend of three years, especially with his best friend? Because I know you like me. You're talking shit. Oh, I'm not. God, just stop it. Who are you playing at? You're supposed to be my best friend. <laughs> I am your best friend. Oh, no, John, just stop it. Do you really think she's gonna cheat on me when I'm standing right here? I didn't ask you to cheat, I only asked for a little kiss. So you think trying to kiss my girlfriend is not cheating? No, it's just giving someone a kiss. Why do you act like such an idiot when you're drunk? So I'm an idiot now, am I? Hey, buddy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You know, you know what, you need to go home and, ju and just sleep this off. Oh, don't tell me what to do. What is with you, mate? Is there something going on back at home? Oh. Why do you feel like this? I don't make out you even care. Do we follow him? I'm going home. Sorry, I didn't realise. No, uh, I mean, don't, don't stop it. It sounded really nice. I could hear you from up there. Ah, uh, sorry. I thought someone had left it there. Um, I did. I, I 
I left it when I came to spread my parents' ashes. Do you mind if I sit down? No, no, you're right. So why are you up here so early? Well, technically I haven't really been home yet. How comes? Well, I went out last night with my mates and we had a bit of an argument. I just wanted to be on my own. So, Oh, and then this guy tried to mug me. What? Uh, yeah, so I just ran up here and been staring at the sky and playing the guitar, basically. What, what, what was the argument about? It must have been pretty bad. I was stupid. I mean, I was drunk and trying to get off with my best friend's girlfriend. Wow. Okay, that that does sound a bit daft, but mm. not really a reason for you to want to run up all the way up here. Has something happened in your life? I mean, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't come all the way up here just because something like that happened. No. I don't think so. I mean, what makes you say that? Who do you live with, if you don't mind me asking? Just my mum. What happened to your dad? I, I don't know. I mean, what is with all the questions? Look, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's a really bad habit of mine. I'm quite nosy. Um, I can leave if you want. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm sorry. It, he left when I was younger, and mum never told me anything about him, so. I don't know anything about it. What, and you've, you've never tried to find him? No, not really. I wish I still had my parents. Even one of them. What happened to them? They died in a car crash. And I was sitting in the back. I was, I was quite lucky. Uh, sorry to hear that. I mean... No, no. Yeah, but it makes me look a bit stupid now, seeing that what's happened without that I haven't tried to find him. Well, you should. I'm sure your mum would help you if you just asked. Since they've been gone, it's made me think just how pointless life is. How long have they been gone? Three weeks now. No way. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. No, it's, it's okay. I'm starting to come to terms with it a bit more now, you know? Do you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna find him. Thank you for persuading me. No, I'm happy to have helped. Look, I should really be off now. It, it would be great to keep in touch and just let me know how, how you get on with finding your dad. Is it okay if I take down your number? Yeah, uh, give us your phone. I've got my number in. Just one. John, yeah? John? Oh, Abby, by the way. What happened to your arm, anyway? Oh, nothing. I just got caught on some hooks. Look, I really should be off. It's nice to meet you, John. Alright. Nice to meet you, anyway. Mum? Yeah? Can I talk to you? Yes, of course. Come up here. I wanted to ask you about my dad. It doesn't matter, does it? Why do you suddenly care so much? Maybe because he's my dad? I don't know. When you want to know what happened to your dad? For all I know, he could be dead. Well, he isn't, and that's all you need to know. No, it's not. He's my dad. I'm a grown man now. I deserve to know what happened to him and why he left. You never tell me anything about him. Your dad was just an idiot. He was never interested in you and never wanted anything to do with you as a child. That's why he left. He left because he hated you. Is that answer suitable for you? No, because I know you're lying. <laughs> I could see it in your face. I'm going to find him with or without your help. Whatever. Just stop being so stupid. <laughs> Perhaps when when you come down, you'll be happier to talk to me in a more sensible way. What do you suppose I'm trying to do? 
whenever I try and talk to you about him, you never say anything, and then we always get in this massive argument, and it goes round and round in circles. So I'm gonna find him, and I don't care what you say. Fine, but I refuse to be a part of it. I told you, I'm going to find him with or without your help. What does it mean so much to you? All of a sudden? I don't understand what has changed. Maybe because he's my dad? Look, I should be able to talk to him if I want to. I'm 20 years old. I shouldn't be told what to think all the time by you. I've got to learn how to think for myself at some point in my life. What if, God forbid, something happened to you? I don't know one. I just want to know what happened to him and why he left. If you're really that bothered about it, I can give you his address and you can go and see him. But I can't go. I can't see him after what he did. Mum, that's fine. It's... I just want to know what happened. It's been playing on my mind a lot more than I realised. This is something I need to do. I don't care that you don't want to come with me. It's something that I want to do on my own if you don't mind. Thank you. John? Yeah, it's me, Dad. Oh my gosh. Finally. Go, oh, come in. Come in, please. Um, should I take my shoes off? Yeah, please. How you been? I'm okay. How are you doing, son? Yeah. I'm alright. Um, well, I presume you know why I'm here. Yeah, I can guess. You probably want to know what happened between your mum and me. Or, or do you need some money or something? No, no, no. It's, it's nothing like that. It's um, the first one. I just want to know what happened. What she told you? Well, she told me you're an idiot basically and uh, that you never cared about me as a child and never bothered and just left. She also said you hated me but in fairness I didn't really believe that. Um, I could see it in her face that she was lying. She was making that weren't she? Did you really believe? I don't know. I don't know what to think. That wasn't the case. Well, what happened? <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this. What? I spent all this time, I'm finally here, and you're just... You're being like this. Don't you think it's about time I know the truth? Yeah, I'm just going to be straight. I... When I met your mum, I wasn't sure who I was. And... After you were born, she didn't realise who 
happy when I was either. Uh, after she had you, I just knew I, I couldn't stay. Because I'm gay. Uh, okay. Didn't see that come in. And when I told your mum, she just went mental. She didn't want me to be around any longer, so I had to leave. Well, um, I went out a couple of nights ago with my mates, and uh, we had a bit of an argument, but to cut a long story short, um, I ended up on top of Sudbury Hill, and just walking about, and um, I met this girl, and we were chatting, and she was actually the one, to be honest, that persuaded me to meet her. So, how did you find me? Oh, I got your address off mum. <laughs> how did you manage that? Yeah, it was um, with extreme difficulty, shall we say. Major guilt tripping. Oh, I just can't believe we've left it this long. Yeah, I'm sorry that I've missed the whole of your childhood. Uh, would you be willing to meet my other half? Well, you're married. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the local paper, one of the first couples in the local area to get married. Do you want to see it? No. Yeah. Cool. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that's quite cool. That's Abby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's a local girl. Poor girl, sad situation. How do you know her? Well, she's the one that's... She was the one that made me contact you. Oh. What? Be careful what you say to her. She's been in and out of hospital, you know, multiple suicide attempts. As a community, we, we've tried to look after her, take her in, but she just goes up the hill or locks herself in her house. She's lost her friends, and lost her job. No idea about any of this. Do you know where she is now? Um, no, I haven't got a clue. And she ain't replied to my text. We're supposed to be meeting tonight. She's probably fine. Yeah, but I had no idea about any of this. Uh, I'm ringing her, don't mm. I? Yeah. It's just ringing. Sorry. No, that's fine. <sighs> She ain't answering. It's saying not right. I mean, she always answers. Abby! 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 What are you doing? Oh, don't be silly, come on! It's one of these things, these things happen! It's all over! <laughs> it's just one of them things! <laughs> you gotta understand, these things do happen, Abby! It's my fault! It's my fault! If it wasn't for me, it would have... you got nothing to be sorry about, honestly. You've done nothing wrong. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, uh, no, stay away. Open your eyes. No. Don't, don't, don't close your eyes, Abby. Open your eyes, Abby. Open them. Open your eyes, Abby. 